Greetings, George Blake here, and uh, I came home last night from work and uh, noticed that my air conditioner in my window was dripping, and I had a big pool of water around the floor. As you can see, the water has caused the wood to pop out. And the carpet was wet. So I grabbed the dog, dog's toy bin and neatly threw it into a box and then put the bin up against the wall underneath the air conditioner. Um, I looked on YouTube because I knew it was probably a clogged line because I noticed there's no water dripping anymore on the outside. It was dry. So all the water is on the inside. Um, so, I researched on YouTube how to clear the drain line, and, and there's all sorts of results, but basically what they're saying is, uh, take it out of the window, take the frame apart, and get to the line, and clear it, unclog it with a wire or something, and then put it all back together and put it back in. Well... This thing's about, oh, I'm guessing 50, 70 pounds. And didn't feel like doing that. So, um, in removing the filter, the water tray is in here. <clears throat> and it was full. And, but I also noticed it was slimy. So, algae, mold, what have you. Uh, this has been in here over a year, so it's understandable. So, algae and mold was built up in here along with water. So, knowing that mold and algae and mildew dies with bleach, I got a tall glass of hot water, as hot as I could get it, and uh, put about one part to ten of bleach in. And then I poured it into that tray. And then what I do is I loosen the screw here that holds the air conditioner in place with a window sill or with a window slider. And was able to rock it back and forth because their base is, oh, well, it's, it's not tilted down far enough. Well, it, it's been here for about a year and it's worked fine up until now. So... Um, I took the screw out, lifted up the window, got access to the back of the unit, and just started rocking it back and forth so that water worked its way um, into the pan, all along the pan. And then I took a turkey baster and took some more water and then just started spraying it in there and then sucking it out and spraying it in, sucking it out. Until, um, until it looked like it was pretty clear. Uh, I don't recommend doing that without the windows open because the bleach is going to be quite strong. Um, but yeah, just get in there. Uh, what it does is it will kill, hopefully kill all that algae, algae and mold in there. And then just kept rocking it back and forth until uh, I thought it was, you know, pretty well soaked in there and then <clears throat> and then I, I sucked it all out with the turkey baster and uh, let it sit for a while and then put it all back together and turned it on and just you know immediately it didn't seem to be filling up um, it later on filled up a little bit that was last night. This morning, I can hardly feel any water in there. Uh, there was no leakage last night, so that was a good sign. So, um, you know, the other option is take the front face off with all the screws and then go in. The drain is actually on this side. It goes through the, what I guess I would call the firewall, it's not necessarily a firewall, but it's a separator wall 
to separate the inside from the outside. There's a drain tube down there. Now, why these manufacturers don't build a hole with like a straw or a tube that goes back that you can clear these things out with, I don't know. Um, I'm guessing they just want people to buy air conditioners. Um, if they had a hole here, directly in front of where that drain hole is at the separator wall so that you could stick a wire through and go back there and clear it, I, I don't know. Or do, or do it from the rear, or both. It, it's, just, it's just really stupid. Anyways, probably sell more air conditioners. But anyway, so that's my story. Um, it worked good last night. I had it on air. Had it about 72 degrees. And um, so far today, no drips. So uh, we'll see in the next few days how it goes. But at least for the time being, I think, I think it's cleared. So uh, if that helps anyone, uh, great. I would recommend, now that I see that, you know, or, or was alerted to the fact that this happens, uh, suggest getting some kind of conditioner. Uh, I've seen on the internet where people used uh, some kind of a pill that you drop into the pan in the back. That's to clear the back part, but it should work the same. I suspect it's probably a combination of bleach pill and other things to uh, uh, condition the water uh, in case it builds up. So, uh, in lieu of that, the bleach in the water and the basting, uh, the turkey baster, seem to work. Dry it out as good as you can and then let her go and see what happens. Okay, like I said, I hope, I hope that helps somebody. Uh, this is George Blake signing off.